Hello gorgeous, Teresa here, your coach to live life without limits. And today I'm going to talk about something that is very important for you as a woman. And you may be thinking about working with it, or you may be already working with it, or you suppress it, or you fear it. And that is our female creative life sexual energy. So grab your coffee or tea if you want pen and paper, make yourself comfortable and listen because this is something which you will be very interested in. sexual energy what is it and how to work with it and why the main thing why to not be ashamed of it so what is sexual energy sexual energy my dear goddess my dear queen is the essence of your femininity it is the essence of who you are it's not only for making kids, it's much more than that. You see, the right way of using sexual energy, and especially during the lovemaking with your partner, or even with yourself, but with your partner is more powerful, is, is creating this, this connection of being oneness, you know, this plus, minus, feminine, masculine, yin, yang, connecting and it's opening the portal into the cosmic consciousness into nirvana if, if you know that is the time this 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 time of having orgasm is actually entering being for very little of second in the state of bliss of Nirvana. And there is a way how we use it and we prolong this state, but that is uh, what we will work on a bit later. Now I want to talk about how and why you should, should not be afraid of it and how to use it with certainty and courage. Because female sexual energy has been suppressing uh, and belittle and humiliated for centuries. And why? Well, because they feared. They were afraid. So they kept women small. They kept women under a man, that they are not important, because if the women would take over, they would rule. And that is something what men didn't want. And of course, now we are in the 21st century and the world is different. But don't forget one thing. It is still in your DNA from your grandmothers and grand, grand, uh, great-grandmothers. It's still in us and it still can be affecting us. And it, it can be shown in the movies or you can be treated as such because it's still in the collective consciousness. It's not yet healed. And I want to help you with it. Because why? Because the sexual energy, your sexual energy is essence of who you are. Essence of this powerful feminine energy. This beautiful, juicy, nourishing, creative, life-giving energy. That is what you possess. And maybe not know about and not maybe using it or maybe you are already starting using it and experiencing it maybe you are getting the nudges of you know maybe you should work with it in the terms you see about sexuality or maybe you see about tantra maybe you see different kind of things right everything is pointing to working with your sexual energy to heal yourself to heal your femininity and 
if you do suppress, if you do deny your sexuality, you deny your femininity. And opposite, if you if you deny your femininity, you deny your sexuality because they are one. They are one. They are not separated. They are one. And you see this uh, this energy, if it is distorted, if this is suppressed and not healthy, creates a lot of mess in your mind, heart, and life. So, for example, you may not like yourself as a woman. You may be envy of other women how they look because maybe you don't like your hair, maybe you don't like your teeth, you don't like your eyes, you don't like your breasts, you don't like your bum, belly, or hold you, right? Or you don't feel worthy, you don't feel self-confidence, uh, Maybe you have some bad experience also with uh, uh, lovemaking with partners. Maybe you don't enjoy having sex. Maybe you don't enjoy having orgasms. Maybe you can't have orgasms. Maybe you, th therefore, you feel maybe less as a woman. Maybe you uh, feel you have to fake the orgasm or or you want it so much that it doesn't happen or it's it's this very quick or you may feel uh even like dirty or not well after having the orgasm or having the sex or it may be it's painful there is a lot of things with the period with your self worth how you see yourself and how 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 you basically vibrate so how you perceive yourself and if you deny this part, you deny the whole energy, the whole self. And if you're an entrepreneur, then of course this this feeling of not being a woman or not accepting the ever part of female feminine energy, that will be seen, that will be felt and that will be also expressed. And that is why you should heal it. Why you should heal it and start working with it. Not only for the physical pleasure, which is awesome and important, but also for your creation of your projects or manifestation of what you want and for your happy life. To, to feel fulfilled, to be yourself. You know, this self-worth, self-trust, self-belief, self-love, it's part of it. It's part of it. So let's talk now a little bit about where this energy is and what even more it is. Right? So this energy for practical people is seated in the center, which is called Svadhisthana or the sacral, sacral chakra. If you are not familiar with chakras, it's an energy center, which is in your pranamaya kosha, or if you want in the part of your aura, it's connected with the stream to our body, into our spine. And it governs uh, also certain organs in the body, and also it has part in the mind. And this this uh, this seed this uh, this energy center there uh, the swadhisthana the sacra chakra is the seed of the sexual energy, and not only that there is also creativity, like the artist uses right. Um, there is also this magnetism for people, what you want like if you want if you see what kind of people you're magnetizing. It's connecting there, or if you want to magnetize, then you go there into that uh, into that center. And of also the seed of sexual energy, as I said, and emotions, emotions. Uh, this center is uh, most of the times very much misunderstood with the heart. So this this kind of let's say fake kind of love. Is is Swadhisthana love? It's uh, it's uh, poison. It's uh, it's not a real love. So we see it in the movies, or you have been experiencing it in the way, for example, I'm jealous because I care of you. I I I am jealous because I love you. Or this kind of saying like, you look at that woman, you don't love me, right? Or if you love me, you would do this and so on. 
and also more of the emotions. But if you look at any kind of uh, Hollywood movies about love, most of the times it's misconcept, misunderstood. But that is how, how the society is. Therefore, healing this part of you, uh, the femininity, will affect your life and your energy dramatically. And your business too, if you are an entrepreneur. So you see, working with this energy is how powerful and how important. And I understand that it may be difficult and it may trigger a lot of things. I've been there myself. I've been raised in the family where the sexual energy was suppressed. Female sexual energy was suppressed. So, of course, I was suppressing my feminine and sexual energy too. And as a result, I didn't like having sex. I didn't enjoy I felt dirty after having sex and after having orgasms. I end up in the possessing kind of relationship toxic relationship i've been told by my partners what i can do what i cannot do i was called bitch because i went to sit with uh, my friend girlfriend uh, for a cola and teacher because we haven't seen each other for a while i was uh, i was emotionally abused i was sexually abused and then everything happened uh, between age 15 to 20 so you can imagine how how I was uh, in a bad condition, bad situation. But God and universe, they had different plan for me. And they had mission for me. And they sent me on the path of healing this uh, sexual feminine energy. So I can help you. I can help you. To stand up powerfully and enjoy yourself, enjoy your sexual energy. And that is what I'm going to do exactly in the inside the program, this coaching program, Supreme Femininity Awakening, where I will help you, support you, hold you, listen to you without judgment, and coach you, empower you to stand up fully into your sexual and feminine energy so you can use it, you can enjoy it and you can be proud of it uh, and not fear that what they will talk about me or how they will judge me, they will not love me, I will be alone, this is not appropriate, I don't want this, this, this bad thoughts, I can't deal with it and so on. No, 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 this everything will be gone. You will stand up powerfully into your self, into your true feminine power. So, my dear goddess, my dear queen, because that is how I see you, as a queen of your business, if you have, a queen of your job, and the goddess of your own universe, this is made for you, made from love, to help you, and to empower you to stand up powerfully and enjoy every essence of yourself being a woman. So, my dear, this is a form inv invitation to join this program so you can stand up for yourself and be yourself, the true self, who you truly are in your heart and not yet fully outside the world. So I'm Teresa and I'm your coach and guide to live life without limits. And this is exactly for you.